Taking a look at today's interest rate markets, let's look at the 10-year note futures as they're continuing to sell off some today. 10-year note futures trading lower for a fourth consecutive session, and today we're looking at the futures market trading down to its lowest level in a week, currently priced at 113.28. Now, that is the December future as we continue to see rolling of positions throughout this week, and December now the more actively traded future. Driving factors today, a couple of things, uh, data-driven. Uh, GDP revision slightly higher from 2.8 to 3%, uh, so that's a stronger number. And I think that that's having an influence in the markets as far as the economic activity. Couple that with the weekly jobless claims remaining consistent here for a third week. And again, not showing continued weakness that we did see early in this month and late last month. So I think that's another factor as to why we're seeing a bit of selling pressure here for the fourth consecutive session. Now, looking at the yields, 10-year uh, yield is up three basis points today to 387 basis points. And we're looking at the yield curve moving higher pretty much from three months all the way out to 30 year today by about three basis points. Very consistent across that yield curve. Also want to point out the two-year, 10-year inversion is holding uh, three basis points of inversion. So continuing to stay at this very narrow level here, but almost back to parity and potentially coming out of an inversion, which will be the first time, I believe, in a couple of years. But at the three basis point of inversion, this is the narrowest it's really been for 2024 as well. So a little bit of selling pressure here, higher yields in the 10 year and rolling of positions from September into December futures.